So I'm in Lucca, and behind me is Puccini's statue and his birthplace. So you need to get a ticket to go inside. This one, seven euro, and um, it's in a square in Lucca. It's very easy, and also you can get a very nice map from the tourist information for free. So free thing is always a good thing. Uh, so next to the with the ticket office, you have a little bookshop, and you can buy libretto and CDs and all those kind of things. So let's go inside. So I'm in Puccini's house. Well, the apartment actually. That's the piano he wrote to Randotan. And Mano Lesko's dress. So behind me is the Chiesa di San Michele in Foro. Yeah, I have to read that. <laughs> Couldn't remember it. Um, so it's really nice Greek church and it's on a very nice square. Look at that. So I'm going into that church. I think I'm going into more churches around here than um, than I ever do. <laughs> this is a bit simpler church. If you see, not much in the way of frescoes. Mostly just private little things. So you see, no frescoes, but the organ is nice. This is the Piazza Napoleone. See? That's Napoleon's sister. And this one is the Duke Palace. It also, I think it could be the, um, you know, cities, some sort of a offices, things. And there's also a small market here can buy food and even clothing, that sort of stuff. So I am in the Catedra di San Martino. And it's very nice. It's a very big cathedral. Oh, okay, big. And um, it's three euros just to get in. Well, it's worth it once you're here. Ceiling is gorgeous. The architecture interesting and look at the organs. They actually have two organs. And through there there's a little chapel with uh, a very pretty statue. Of, well it's actually a coffin. I found where all the shopping happens. It's uh, shopping. They even have tetanis and uh, calcedonia and all that in there. So. If you want to shop in Luca, this is the place to go. This is the amphitheater square, which is known for being circular, like an amphitheater. And it has a big statue in the middle. <laughs> 